Greetings, ladies and gentle players. It is December 20th, 2019, a Friday, and that makes it another wonderful day for basics. But really, when isn't it another wonderful day for basics? You can see over here, I'm on the OGS because I want to end this year on a high note for those of you who are struggling to bridge the gap between Q and Don players. So we're focusing only on one Q and one Don player. I'm playing it on OGS specifically because that's the server that you guys usually tell me is the server that counts. Like that's where like the strongest one Qs and one Dons are. So if it works here, it should work everywhere else. At least that's the theory. So that's why we're here. Let's try to get a game. And speaking of getting games, maybe you want to get yourself a game next year. Maybe you want to get yourself a game in person next year in, let's say, a tournament setting. If that sounds like something you want to do in January 18th and 19th in the 2020 Midwest Open, might want to look it up on gohio.org. They've got directions up of where the venue's going to be as well as they are now informing what special guests are going to be at the venue. They're going to have such notable players such as Kim Young-yun over here at 8 Don Professional. Going to be doing game reviews and commentary. You're going to have Sean Ray there. You may know him as Colossus. may have seen him streaming or his YouTube channel. Daniel ML001 is going to be there broadcast along with good old Scatmaker and many others. So if you're looking for something to do in January, check out gohio.org. Consider the 2020 Midwest Open. Apparently, it's going to be a blast. Oh, got a game. Cool. I am black against uh, Mr. Ghost Spirit here. How's... Whoa. How is Ghost Spirit? Uh, he's been winning all of his games lately. That's uh, a little creepy. But, all right. Let's... Oh, how do I go back to this? Just click this one. Okay, cool. <sighs> um, what are we going to do here? I'm going to move my microphone to the left because it's in my way and I can't see the screen. And then, uh, oh, I need to say hi as well. Hi. Okay, Ghost Spirit approached me rather than take an open corner. I'm fine with that. I just back off because priority right now is to grab that corner. So biggest move on board if we're paying attention is grab that corner. I mean, it's a free corner. If I can get it, I'll take it. Now, I could play here. I kind of want to pincer, like, really, really badly. And they start picking fights. But at the same time, I also really, really want that corner. It's it's an open spot. I mean, that's just what I want to do. So tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to back off. Am I really backing off here? I play here. He plays here. It could be bad. He can settle here with shape, can he? In Sentai. Hmm. I could kick him. Oh dear god. If I kick him, he will get a base, won't he? Bonk, bonk, bonk. And then he gets bonk and I go bonk. Huh. That that's that's actually a legitimate idea. Now nah, back off. It's fine. I'm not pincing here specifically because I don't want to start like a huge fight that just kind of spirals along on the board and goes crazy. So yeah, his move. Only one thing I want to play. That thing up there. Oh, and we're playing it. Got him. So in exchange for a base here, he gave me a free corner. That is amazeballs in my favor. I'll go ahead and mark uh, that as my corner. Just be like, mm, mine. Uh, sure. Oof, I don't like that pincer. I don't like that either. Why don't I like it? Why do I not like that? Why do I say I don't like that? Well, that is now a move. So is the clamp. Why is the clamp? Because if he connects, I can extend into it and then I can go over. That will absolutely live. And if I do that right now, he loses the game because this will have no territory. This is undercut and has to live locally. How does he equal my other corners? With one? Uh-uh. Okay, actually, maybe a loses the game is a little bit much, but 
it, it definitely swings in my favor, I feel. Now, he has a large knight here. I could play this one. I mean, it looks cool. But I might want to... Yeah, let's, tell you what, let's just play large point. All right, bam, block the extension. That way I might have the 3-3 still. The attachment, I think, is really, really good, and I was leaning more towards it. But I might want to do a little 3-3 into the large knight, because we have a lot of large knights nowadays. So I might want to review that. So I, I could see playing uh, a 3-3 in this game. A 3-3 invasion onto large knight. Sure, why not? These two moves I want for him. This is one he wants for me. Double large knight you can still live in. <clears throat> now I should play here. And since everyone's playing, I guess I could play this, or I could play this. Depends. I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? I was playing the double. I'll, I'll play here. All right, so it's three corners. I now also want to play. Give me the bop, bop, bop. Large knight into small knight can be kind of solid. Large knight into large knight, however, is still open to the invasiones. How much time left is left on this track? Oh my god. I was looking for a game for 43 minutes. Wow. Okay. Um, I play here. Enlarge my little dude. <laughs> oh god. Uh, my corner is what I was referring to. Um, I could play here. Is there any reason not to? There is kind of a reason not to. If you play here, they attach here, and then when you play... Uh, I mean, there's no reason not to. If I play here, he'll play this one afterwards, and then extend. I'm probably better off just, like, pincering, right? That way he can't, like, settle, settle. Because if I do this, he can go here and settle here, and then I have to pincer when he runs. But here he's already pincered, right? What is basic, you idiot? Okay, basics. Approach my corner. Um, my corner, by definition, has to be strong, so I pincer him because I, I'm going to rebase. Okay, done. That was easy. Um, could play here. Uh, is he something that I could do? I don't see a reason not to, though. Well, this is, this starts a fight. It starts a fight. We're not going to start no fights. I ain't starting no fight up in here. Unless he goes forward, then I'm turning. Yeah, I don't think I want him to be able to connect back to this. He decided not to connect, so he doesn't get to. Um, okay. What you want, G? Under, maybe? Or a hit. Ah, man. If he plays here, ba 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 boo ba 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 I don't know. Which one's better? Which one thinks better? I'll do this one. So I'm liking this result. Influence for days. Sir, I need to call your attention to the corner, sir. If this guy was closer, I could Hane here and go for Ko for life. But if I play here and he connects and I throw and he can Atari, and if I go for Ko, he can extend right now. If I had a stone closer, then that would not be at that would not matter. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and connect. Whatever, whatever. He did pick up his big move though. Let's go ahead and play here. And then play here. Next move I want to play is somewhere along. Yeah, that's an overplay. Is over in here. So we're seeing a couple of overplays from him right now, right? The corner. He's just trying to like reduce literally everything, right? He tried to play up here to reduce. He tried to play over here to reduce. He played over here to make sure I can't expand. He played over here to do something big, but and he's playing over here to get like it's just like really greedy play. So right now we're tempted to be like frustrated and be like, oh my god, I gotta kill him, otherwise he's gonna get, get he's gonna get away with all these greedy things he's doing, right? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. None. Of, he doesn't have very much in the way of territory. 
Because all of these little blue dots can be taken advantage of one after another to just be like, okay, none of this is points. You're not protecting M2, uh, M3, sorry. You're not protecting the stuff up in here. You're not protecting your corner, despite the fact you played two stones in there. Okay, three technically. So w what are you doing, sir, if, I'm, if I may ask? So we're just going to get nice shape here. And then we're going to start poking them apart one by one. Because our shape is strong AF. And his has not been. That's all there is to it. Our group. Do I get to surround him? I thought he was going to play here when I did that. And then I was going to... And then I thought he was going to Hane... But I could just do this one now, right? Because he's going to cut me. Who cares? I extend back. We have good shape. Right? Can anyone come up with a reason not to push up again? Because it's basics. Fuck, I hate that. It's basic to protect your cutting point. No matter how long you stare at that board, it's suddenly not going to be not basic to ignore the cutting point. Or... That's a lot of knots in that one. It's not going to suddenly be basic to ignore the cutting point. There we go. Oh, this is a huge mess up, though, if I connect. Because you can see why, right? The cut's fine, because I can make shape here, and he's not alive here. So if I get a wall here, to go with the wall here, we just come up from here as well, and then this is, like, territory. If I connect, none of that can be. Technically, that was supposed to be a solid connection, but this is okay. Except he gets a free poke here, but we don't talk about it. And here, too. Again, we don't talk about it. Uh, my guy, I'll surround you. Hi, how are you? So, we have, like, here and here, like I mentioned. Here and, uh, here still. Um, is it, is it a thing? Is it a thing, 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 thing? Thing one, thing two? If I play here, he plays here, uh, I think he's alive. Okay, so let's see what's down in here. I think it's just going to be a co, right? So I should start it right now. No, I should play here first. <sighs> there we go. Kill me. Cut threats are going to be on his group in the middle. He'll ignore me, thinking I can't kill him. I was wrong. If he connects, I connect, I live. See? This... Mmm. See that mistake right there? That should be a solid connection. But it wasn't, because I'm an idiot. And I misclicked. Bum, 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 bum. Here into here, I connect still. See how much he really wants to ignore me. So how many groups has he created so far? One, two, three, four, technically five, and then six. Snap. Okay. <clears throat> he has to run. He can't live locally. All right, run away. Now I need new music because obviously... Do I play here? Or do I play here? Here, here. And then if he plays here, that's not alive. Uh, does it matter if I push him back one, though? 
If I play here, I could have this. No, I play here, and then we've got the throw. Oh, we're reading. All right, what did I want to play? My first instinct was to push, right? Fine, my first. No, okay. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. I don't know anymore. I'm not going to try to kill him. Just going to surround him. And it's going to re listen to what I just listened to. So yes, he, he has territory. He has territory because he's got the corner. That's all he really has though, this corner and this corner. So this is just like a picnic hoe. That's 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 bold. Fine. Are you alive? I bet he says he's alive. I'm not sure he is. Here, here, into here. That's false, and just play here. He's dead. He plays away. Here, here, here is still dead. So which way do we play this? This way? Or do I play here? Here? I don't know. Technically none. I can throw in right now and kill him. I know that. And it's making me annoyed that I do know that. So what's he gonna do? Cut me here? I back off. Cut me here? Eh. But, okay, I protected my cut point because, you know... Yeah, exactly. This is Seki now. Here, 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 here. And then that's Seki. Right? Yeah. Can I do that in Sentai? Wait, if I play here, he plays here, 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 here. He doesn't respond. I play here. No, nah, yeah, okay. Alright, <sighs> next invasion. Let's just go for this one now. Make sure this isn't territory. Like I said, all he's gonna have is the bottom left. We'll look to get like 5 to 10 points. Thank you. That was really good for me. Reason why? I can't Hane, but I can 1 point jump. And now this whole group's in trouble. Um, I'll just... Make a table shape. Like I said, we're not trying to kill. We might be trying to kill now. He can't connect this way. Can I just take this? You connect up? No? Okay. Um, so yeah, it'd be a mistake for me right now to let him connect up. But right now I can clearly see, just by basics, there is a shape problem here. And what do we do? We focus on shape. So I don't see any reason not to just play here. If he wants to undercut and kill his other group, I mean, he can. I don't mind. Go do it. Or if he wants to keep running on the second line, you can do that too, bro. That was greedy, not connecting up here. He's just going to sacrifice this for this? That's good for me. That's That's really good for me. So I've got this now, and the top, and these stones aren't dead yet. Alright, so we won by 10.5. That was a little bit hairy, but let's go ahead and review. <sighs> Alright, so, and this game was pretty straightforward. He approached here, I don't know why he did, but gave me the open corner, and that instantly put us into... Uh, a lead in this game, so I'm fine with that. He jumped out, that's okay because it reinforces my corner and it doesn't give him anything uh, new in return, besides some influence, but then he would have to like use uh, uh, like another move here to do something like this one. But the problem is even if he does this, I can just play here. Like this is not gonna be magical territory, 
Because he has a three stone wall. It, it, it just that doesn't work that way. Like he, I'm not by enemy lines after like a single point jump. So I guess he can make some on the third and the second if he really wants it that way. I have a group that he can attack. Don't don't get me wrong. I have a there is a group here. Yeah, sure. You can poke at a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we'll be with this isn't territory. So there's just this points, and then that's pretty much it, right? And and the attack, as long as he can do something. Um, but he played here, which gives us a really good result. Um, as mentioned, as long as you don't freak out and be like, oh my god, what, how do I reduce? I mean, you could reduce it this way if you wanted to. You could attach here like I did in game, because... Don't do this one. This was a trap. Because now this is territory, right? If he does that way, we would probably play something like this one, threatening to come in. I would probably choose a diagonal because I like the shape that I can kind of start making for me a little bit better. I could be wrong about that one, but it kind of like feels that's like, like that's the right answer. Uh, all that good stuff. Uh, we've got an enclosure. He decided not to connect, so you know that's fine. What else? Got to move Incente here. Uh, ideally, he would play. I don't. I don't really care where he plays. Just something to start protecting this area. Unfortunately, he did not. Problem is, if he does that, then we might never actually invade him. We might just play something like this one, right? And then just start building up our own area because our area is larger than his, and he has to turn around and do something about this. And especially with the invasion here, like with this invasion, with this not being territory on the right hand side. It'd be really tough to just uh, build up off, off of here and ignore my left because his only territory is going to come from the left after the right vanishes because he doesn't have another move over in there. Like, he owes me a move in here for this to be points. But if he plays a move here, then this is a co, and if I get this, then there's no points. Not to mention the fact that this... isn't worth many points in of itself. One, two, three, four, five, fifteen, seriously? How many stones are involved for fifteen points of territory? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so that's literally one for one. Literally one for one. You might as well have been running along the second line for fifteen lines in a row. Do we have more than fifteen points from this exchange? Absolutely. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, we can get like thirty points here and here. Well, he's getting the fifteen here. Plus, we've got like a big old uh, happy little dude over there. So we got this one. Normally, I would play here hundred percent of the time. I don't care about this because what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? The Hanes, I'm cutting that too, because there's no ladder here. If he plays here, now there's a ladder. So probably Hane. Throw a ladder back, that way if he Hanes, I can Hane back and he has to connect or something, and then we're fine still. But now he has to live in this very tight tight area Well, I'm not surrounded, so that's, that's oof, ow. Uh, that should have been a connection, it wasn't, so we gave him a free move, which sucked. And then here, that was probably the last mistake that he made. Because this connection doesn't matter. So if I wanted to, I could just play here, here, and then there. And then that I mean that that's that's a very very basic dead shape. If he cuts here through here, we'll play here. Because we'll get enough liberties. We'll get enough liberties. He has to play like here, right? And then maybe, I don't know, maybe here too. And then something like this one. And then we'll play here. For one eye. Atari it. So he's forced to connect here as well. And then just start the capture race. Because this is what? We're like way up ahead on it, right? Yeah. Doesn't even require uh reading. Not really. So you could you could totally kill this. You could totally kill this. 
easiest thing in the world, but that would require reading, so we backed off from it. Uh, which turned into a dangerous game because of that. Um, same thing here. Like, now he has to cut his way to freedom, but where do you even begin? Here? How are you gonna- how are you gonna do anything there, you know? How are you gonna do anything there? Come on, you know that's dead. You know that's dead. And then, last but not least, after this, uh, the game was pretty much over. Being able to get this in and make sure he only has that bottom left, I mean, he's just way behind. He's just way behind. And then here, he didn't kill this, so at any point in time, we could just go ahead and save our stones. He can go here and take the majority of them. But doesn't really matter quite so much, you know? And, oh, actually, that would that'd be insane. That's almost dead. Wow. Ooh. But yeah, so once we came out here, all he has is the bottom left, and with one little pokesy doodle over here, uh, that just kind of turns into that for territory. And as you can see here, we, we have more than the bottom left-hand corner. Like our bottom right is kind of similar to the bottom left. We have the top still. We'll pick up a couple. Of, we'll pick up a couple of points in the middle, so that is the end of that. And then for just a little cherry on top, we could go back and make this into a nice little uh, seki. So yeah, that was that game, and I actually really liked that game up into here because it showed a really, really great example of just how to do some nice, simple moves to just take advantage of uh, someone who seems to be overextending themselves a little bit. Not really protecting, not really claiming territory solidly for themselves, and just trying to do more and more and more. And how that little house of cards they build can just start come uh, tumbling on down if uh, if you can spot it early enough. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to hard cut some of this review. Probably didn't make a whole lot of sense because I'm making an I'm making an executive decision after the game's done. I'm looking at how much time has been taken, and I think if I do a hard cut here, after I'm clearly out, and his groups, and hit this side is clearly dead, I'm going to do a hard cut here and just play another game so I can do two games in this video as opposed to the one that I would have had to do previously. So, hard cut here, cut off the rest of the game, and I'm going to go play again. Alright, uh... Look at that. Uh, OGS has certainly changed, hasn't it? No, nah, I gave up on OGS. I'm sorry. Um, we have another approacher. Okay, let's do the exact same thing as we did last time. I'll back off. Let's see how much this is going to be like the last time. We got Sente. Okay, fine. But blam Got the corner. So he exchanged an equal result for giving me a free corner. I think that's really great. I don't want to back off twice because I don't like playing the same thing in both corners. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a little rando pincer here. If you want a pincer here, you can pincer wherever you want. Yeah, I don't really, it doesn't really matter. I just chose a pincer. Uh, weird move, but I'll do jump out into ba boom. One, two, three, blam. He turned, gave me sente. So this little guy now, right here, this little guy right here is kind of cut off from him, and this is, like, strong. So, what I want to do now is just make sure that little guy doesn't get killed. So, we will do, um, an enclosure to back him up. Since our, since our opponent can't get a base here anymore, we grab an enclosure... And we set up a trap. He comes in here, he can't get a base. So it's no base, our turn, strong corner. We'll just like squeeze in between it. Um, I will uh, just grab an extension. He did too. Now approach on the wide side. Uh, 
And I'll grab a base. So far, this is... Not bad for us. Move that we want to play next. Yep, knew that was going to happen. Uh, there's an invasion here. There's a 3-3 three, three in here. But by that same rationale, let's not kid ourselves. There is an invasion point here, but I don't think he can use it because of our 2-space and not 3-space extension, right? So I don't think he can do that. So I, I don't think that's I don't think that's a possibility. There is a possibility of the three three, however. Here we don't diagonal because he can't connect underneath. If they can't connect underneath, then don't diagonal. Um, I can't be put behind any lines, but if he jumps out, he kind of can. So I'll play here. All right, that is gone. Rip my invasion point. And by that ra by that same uh, token, rip his invasion point. Um, all right, yeah, sure. Mm, mm, mm. I don't want him cutting through her. Maybe you can, though. I don't know what he's going to do. He doesn't want to play the empty triangle. Just play here, then. Don't worry about it, dude. Uh, it's a weird move. I don't understand. Can I poke through here? You know what? I don't care. Where's our big move? Uh, what's going on? What is going on on this board? I see it immediately, though. The minute I asked, I asked what, I, I saw it. Do you see it, though? What's going on? And by what's going on, do we have weak groups? No, the answer is no. None of us have weak groups. So what are the strengths and weaknesses of our positions and our opponent's positions? So, you know, when we're sitting down at the board, we can think of ourselves like, okay, what, what can we do this game? What is the board telling me? And here's what the board is telling me. Board's telling me he wants to grow this area. Board's telling me I want to grow this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cap in here that way... I've asked, can I build this way instead while we're pushing him back? And you see how we're going after him like that? See how we're going after him like that? We've taken the potential from his influence and we're just pushing it back. And he gave us hentai again. So this game is, I think, done. This game is Dunzor. He will invade us, and we're going to kill him for that. If he plops a stone in here behind enemy lines, we will assassinate him. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Do we care about that? No. Cut me. Um, I'm just building a thing. Don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just drawing. This is the most passive guy I've ever found on Fox, I think. Like, whoa, dude. He's just letting me get away with whatever I want. What a nice guy. Maybe it's because of the holiday season. He's like, okay, you can take it. It don't matter. <laughs> um, I'm just playing a very, very simple solution where I just keep him out of my base. Attached to this side, he haunts. Attached to the other side, he's locked out. Gives up a stone. We had to, we had to kill Jimmy, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Jimmy will forgive us. Jimmy understands. I'm sorry, Jimmy. But. I mean, your death was worth it, kid. It really was. <laughs> I will always remember Jimmy. 
Jimmy's the one that let us build all of this. He kept the enemies from our door. The only reason why we weren't broken into in the night was because Jimmy stood there and he said no. Brave, brave Jimmy. Um... <laughs> what else should we play? Um... Hane? Hane seems... I'll connect here. There. I protected my cut point in honor of Jimmy. All right, there goes that invasion point. Oh, I'm being poked. Bum, bum, ba, bum, bum. So you got meow, bum, and bump for territory. I thought for sure he'd invade us. I was, I, I'm surprised. Color me surprised. Maybe up here? Big point? Ah, he's getting all my biggie points. I'm gonna play here next, right? Or here for the cut. Mm, stop it. No more coming in. Leave us alone. Duh. Hey, really? It's taking all those big points. Rude. Um, here. <laughs> Put him back. Okay. Uh, ba -bum -bum, ba -ba -bum -bum -ba -na -na. Oh, whatever, player. This threatens uh, the do wop, so he's got to think about that. I'll think about that later. I'll just play here. Go away. Okay. Okay. Ha ha ha! I have broken in. Ooh, I get to push. Is there a cut here? That's a kill. On guard, matey. Yeah, here, 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 here. I was pretty straightforward. I'll kill it. Wait, what? Yeah, you're dead. No, go away. My stones. I'll look in the review. Um, exactly uh, how long or how many points I had before this. Uh, slight mistake. This little oopsies. Oh, right, I ranked up twice. Thanks for the game, sir. So, we're now three done with, uh, good old Sandy B. Let's go review. That was pretty straightforward, wow. That game took ten minutes flat. Okay. Uh, so yeah, he backed off, I took the, I took the corner. And then we pen turn, so we didn't want to take. We don't want to back off twice. I don't like playing symmetrical. Uh, then we do that. That's a little bit of a weird move, but it's fine. Um, let's see. Actually, you know what? I'm curious. I didn't check on what his rank, what his win loss was when I played him. Hmm. He's kind of ranking down. Okay. I see, I see. So more of a one Q than a one done. That's okay though. Uh, so we blacked off. We we did that, which is fine. He decided he had to settle, which I totally, I totally get. Took our little extension. We could have pincered here now if we wanted to, because we already had an enclosure. So we have to cat. We get to kick him and pincer him. But we're gonna get more mid game, not early game. So we went corner side center first. Lack bonk. We got that one in. And then he took his, though I think he maybe should have taken the enclosure instead. But then he, we're going to play this so I can see why he didn't. To avoid the situation, just, in, just play here if you're going to play something. Whoa, not that one. You know? A lot easier. 
Gotta be careful. If they have an enclosure, don't just approach normally because it's not a it's not a normal corner approach because there's already a friggin' enclosure there. So here we just got kicked. Can't say no again. Can't say anything against it because I mean, like, hey, I like it, so whatever. Then he went into kind of like this end game kind of stuff, which I don't like. But here, imagine me playing away right now, okay? And then he could play here. Maybe, right? And then suddenly, he grows! Right? This is suddenly growing! But, we had Sente, we saw that we were fine, so we turned instead, which meant we're growing. Huge difference there. That right there, if you can spot that, you are on your way to the Dawn levels, yo. If you can spot that kind of thing, you're good, you're good. That was way too slow, and this game is already lost. So we just gotta keep him out of what we got. He tried to make a break in, but it's okay. Uh, our brave soldier, who we will never forget, held the, held the evil white stones at bay, and thus we have... Let's see, what do we have? We're up by about 26 points right now. Which is nice. It's a nice amount. Nice amount. So that's how that's how much we were up by before um, that that little uh, top thing that occurs here in a minute. Where is it? Yeah, here. Um, he could have played a better defensive move here, maybe maybe this one, and then if I play here, back off again. That works out. And then yeah, estimator. Whoa, what? Hold up. We're up by 10? Whoa, 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 whoa. We were up by 26. Wait, we were, right? Okay. This says 26. How did he get... How did it go from 26 to 10? What? I understand. I kept the territory there. He kept the territory there. I got pushed back. Okay. Now it's 22. Oh, those stones died. And then it's 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then connection 8. Okay. That's how it happened. I gotcha. I gotcha. That makes sense. Either way, that's my video for today. Hope you enjoyed. Got how many more Fridays are in this month? One? Two? No, one. Yeah, one, one, one. So we'll also be doing 1Q1 done next uh, week, which is our final Friday in 2019. That's crazy. Been another year of basics. Thanks to you people. Your subs, likes, donations, and Patreon support are what keep this channel going. So, very much appreciate that, and I will see you next week. Take care, everybody.